Girls with Balls. The title kind of lets you in on everything you possibly need to know about this movie. Tongue is firmly in cheek in this splatter horror movie. We are shown into this volleyball team of the Falcons, a group of girls who are at the top of their game, but they don't quite gel as a team. They're all kind of individual, they all have their own hopes and dreams and aspirations and sometimes they just kind of butt heads over the silliest of things. We have this coach who's just one of the girls as well, but he has a short temper. As they're travelling from one victory, probably on to their next victory at some point, they get kind of stranded in this backwards little town. They go into a bar, they discover these really creepy backwards type of people who, let's face it, are cannibals. And when their truck breaks down a little bit away from that, the cannibals come a-calling, looking from their latest menu pieces to have. And you get blood, guts, screams, one-liners and ridiculous action from then on. It is exactly what it paints out to be. It's not scary, it's not particularly nasty or grimy, it's brightly lit, these girls are all kind of one-dimensional. There is just a hell of a lot of blood and a hell of a lot of scenery chewing from some of the actors. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you want a movie that is not going to be challenging, that's not going to have you thinking about much, and when it's finished, it's not going to linger much round about your skull, causing various thoughts to kick off. This is primarily a watch, have some laughs, enjoy some funny jokes, look at the fantastic gore that it has and that's primarily what you get. I didn't care about any of the characters. There are some surprises along the way. I never um, picked who the final girl was going to be. They kind of splinter off at one point as they do in horror movies. You know, they don't stick as a group. They just run off into the bush and they start to get picked off and every time I was certain who the next final girl was going to be, she would meet a bloody demise in some way and would move on to some other characters. Some I liked some I didn't. When we get to the blood and guts of the piece, it is terrific. They really go for it and it's fun. From the opening hand being shot, to decapitations, to people being repeatedly stabbed, to people being coated in a uh, almost incalculable amount of blood. It's just fun. It's fun to see somebody having a moment, cuddling, talking to each other, while in the background there is a walking body without a head staggering about a lake. It's fun, light-hearted, tongue-in-cheek, not very serious, but just pure fun. And you get the bad guys, the cannibals, who are particularly one note, you know, they're kind of odd looking, they kind of giggle at the silliest things, they just want their meat and they're going to go about it any way that they possibly can. This movie had surprises. I was laughing out loud with the movie more often than I was at it. I enjoyed some of the characters. I was waiting on some of them to get the comeuppance they so richly deserved. Whether it happens quickly or later on in the movie, I was there for it. Girls with Balls is fun, but completely a popcorn movie. It's not for everybody. If you like your splatter movies, your gore, you don't want characters, you don't really want any kind of much of a plot, you just want to see people in the run, being decimated, with a few uh, punctuated funny scenes throughout it to add a little bit of levity. Girls with Balls is a movie for you. It is on Netflix. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts if you've already seen it. Let me know in the comment box and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.